With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. An LC circuit contains a 20 milli Henry inductor and a 50 microfarad capacitor with an initial charge of 10 milli coulomb. The resistance of the circuit is negligible and at the instant in which the circuit closed is t equals 0, at what time the energy stored is completely magnetic, they are asking. So this is also a problem based on LC oscillation where they are connecting an inductor and a capacitor with a charge of 10 milli coulomb. So if the charge, if Q value, the charge of the capacitor is uh, 10 milli coulomb, we will find out what is its energy. So what is the energy stored inside the capacitor in this situation? It will be Q square by 2C. So Q will be 10 into 10 power minus 3 whole square divided by 2 into C, the capacitance. Capacitance is 50 into 10 power minus 6. So this when you simplify it, E comes out to be 1 joule. So this is the energy stored inside a capacitor. And when this energy is stored inside the capacitor, this energy oscillates between the inductor and a capacitor and you will be having a frequency of the oscillation. So that frequency of oscillation present will be equal to F0 is 1 by 2 pi into root LC. So this becomes 1 by 2 pi into root L. L is 20 into 10 power minus 3 into C is 50 into 10 power minus 6. So this when you are simplifying it, F0 comes out to be 159.24 hertz. Okay. So this is the frequency at which current or electric and magnetic energy keeps changing. So when this is the frequency, you can easily find out the time period using this frequency, correct? So frequency and time period as inversely relation. So T will be equal to 1 by F0. And so when you substitute that, you will get it as 1 over 159.24. And time period comes out to be 6.28 seconds. So this is the time period of the oscillation. Now, when it will be magnetic and when it will be electric. So whenever electric energy is maximum, magnetic energy will be minimum and vice versa. So when you have such kind of energy, see, uh, the, the circuit will be having only magnetic energy. The circuit has complete magnetic energy. Magnetic energy during the time interval T is equal to T by 4, 3 T by 4, 5 T by 4 like this. And at this time electrical energy will be completely zero. Now time period T we have calculated it is 6.28 seconds. Right? So substituting that time period will be equal to zero. Let us take only the first case where it becomes maximum. Okay, so T is 6.28 divided by 4 and when you do it, you get this as 1.57 seconds. So the time during which the magnetic energy is maximum is 1.57 seconds. So which is very similar to 1.54 milliseconds, right? So option A will be the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.